everyone, Chad Phantom One here, and welcome back to another episode of Grind My Gears. We'll be talking about different Pixar movies that have little elements that make like little to no sense to me. So, Pixar, I have questions. The most unrealistic thing in Toy Story 1 is that Sid wins a claw game twice. Not only does he win it twice, he wins three toys, one of which is Buzz Lightyear, a new on the market toy, which is very unlikely to be in a crane machine in the first place. On the subject of Toy Story though, what makes a toy? Like those rolling popper things that kids play with, the little things that you push and it goes, would that be a toy? Would it be sentient? How do you, how, what is, what's a sentient toy and what makes a not sentient toy? Now, I know you're going to say that they kind of answered this in Toy Story 4, but if anything, it rose more questions for me. If trash can be a toy, can toys create life? Finally, the last topic I want to bring up comes from Monsters, Inc., one of my favorite Pixar movies and definitely in my top three. You know Cecilia, that character with the purple snake hair and she's voiced by Jennifer Tilly? Okay, well, if she ever cut her hair, would she be... A criminal you're gonna say that doesn't make any sense but her hair is living right and the snakes are alive and conscious I mean they in the movie they sigh in relief when she says she's not gonna cut her hair so if she did cut her hair they would die right these are my questions I need answers for watching thank you for supporting and stay awesome guys bye